there, Cosmo family. My name is Elial in this incarnation. Today, we need to talk about Mercury because this 23rd enters Pisces and is going to, it is going to stay there until March uh, 10th. So Mercury, Mercury in this position has this broadness in the development of imagination. In fact, the people that uh, could have Mercury in Pisces in uh, their natal charts um, could learn uh, easily through images or you know um, visual visual stimulation visual stimulation uh, more than you know uh, written theories, but there is also um, a capacity to put into words things that we can perceive and and see and imagine to and also to traduce them to arts music uh, etc. So in addition with the transit of the uh, sun in Pisces. We could be more sensitive, uh, more with, with this permeability, especially people who have <laughs> important positions in their natal chart, like the moon or the sun. Um, so one of the biggest lessons with the, the energy of Pisces is to learn to put healthy boundaries, um, you know, because um, there is an extreme sensitivity. So the, the boundaries are put uh, internal and externally, uh, closing our field to energies, situations and information that are not collaborating with um, the elevation of our uh, frequency. So this transit could also be uh, something that can collaborate with the inspiration to create, not only in the area of arts, in every area, because every time that we have an idea, we are accessing to um, other planes. Uh, but something that I specified a long time ago when I did a video talking about the the music and arts is that um, all depends in our capacity of connecting with those planes, to open ourselves to those planes. And of course, uh, with the, the consciousness that we are operating, because um, in terms of uh, arts, we can descend uh, ideas that come from the unconscious collective that are denser. So this depends. But uh, it is a good moment to, to create, to use this inspiration to create. And we are going to be more receptive also with, um, with the others, with more empathy, because Mercury in Pisces um, has this uh, intuitive understanding. Um, it's about comprehending uh, by feeling <laughs> in, a, in a certain way. So um, it, it is a, a moment in, in which we can be more receptive with the things that others are going through. And also we're connecting with the messages that are reaching us through music and dreams. So for people that ha are more, has this tendency to be more in the rational mind, it is a good moment to develop the intuitive part. Um, and is, is this Mercury the one that tells us that telepathy exists? Um, because our mind has a, a great power that we are discovering and that's why it's very important to verify what we are feeling with our thoughts. So the last thing that I wanted to comment today is that uh, it is going to create a conjunction with um, with Saturn and both the Sun and Mercury are going to perfect the conjunction the next week. Uh, so Saturn is going to be very present. And although I commented yesterday, uh, this transit in a, in certain polarity could activate the the you know the the pessimism or uh, to be more negative with our thoughts in in the perception of life uh, or very critic with ourselves. If we use the trans, if we bring those things to consciousness, and we use to the the transit to give a structure to the ideas that we are um, that that we imagine, uh, Saturn in Pisces is is a builder of dreams, a constructor of dreams. So, okay, family, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.